This week I'm sharing a teaching from the book, The Last Supper on the Moon by Levi Lusco. I've enjoyed his teachings as he takes uh, things that he shares with us about mostly the, the moon landing. And he takes that and he uses it to share gospel truth with us. And he's talking about Jesus being the light of the world and uh, tells us that he is our light. He's the light that guides our way to keep us from straying. Yes, there are times when we walk this walk that we stray. And uh, we read the uh, parable that Jesus talked about, about the parable of the sower. And he said one of the reasons why people stray is for the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches. And uh, John in his epistle talks about the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. He says that all that is in the world. But the fact remains that Jesus is the light. And uh, the thing is that he, when we are allowing his light to shine in our lives, he illuminates things and he helps us to see areas in our lives that we are not doing well. But then when we stray from that and we're not allowing his light to shine in our lives, we're not receiving it, then there's this darkness and some very unhealthy things can happen in the darkness. And you think about this. And uh, I've got family members who are just terrified of spiders. And uh, where do they like to live? They like to live in the darkness, mold, all these things that happens in darkness. That's why it's so important that we allow the love and the light of Jesus to shine in our hearts, in our mind, in our soul, so that he can keep us on the way that is described as being that straight and narrow way. Not the broad way, but the straight and narrow way that he says it leads to life eternal. We well, see, I'm one of these people that I'm very serious about heaven because I've read about hell and I have decided that I don't want to have anything to do with that place. Mostly because there in the darkness of hell, you're out of the presence and the light of Christ Jesus. And to me, that's the most awful thing that could happen is to be separated from the presence of God. So, to say this, when the light, Jesus Christ, the light of the world shines into our hearts, then it causes us to be sanitized, purified, and things disinfected because of the cleansing power of his light. I tell you what, I love, I love the Lord Jesus Christ, and I thank God that his light shines in my life, and I pray in yours as well. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.